This module is related to the microeconomics and macroeconomics. And out of this topic, I am going to give some brief related to the macroeconomics. Macroeconomics is that branch of economics that deals with the aggregate things, that deals with the collective things. And if we say in the words of the Professor Hansen, that is the branch of economics which considers the relationship between large aggregate and these large aggregates are basically volume of employment, the national income, the total trade like this and the national income. And the latest definition that is given by George Mankiw that the macroeconomics today is the study of fluctuations in the cycles of income and economic growth, unemployment, production and income distribution, inflation and financial markets. And in this way, we can say that everything that is happening in the economy at the larger scale, it will come under the domain of macroeconomics. Macroeconomics, the word has been derived from the Greek word macro. Students, यहाँ मैं एक चीज आपके सामने रखना चाहूंगी कि जिस तरीके से हमारी उर्दू जुबान का माखज अरबी और फारसी है तो इंग्लिश की अगर कोई भी टर्म हम देखते हैं या कोई वर्ड पुराना तो चूंकि इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज का माखज यूनानी और लातीनी जुबाने हैं तो इसीलिए जब भी हमारे पास कोई ऐसी टर्म आती है तो हम देखते हैं कि उसके एक्चुअल मीनिंग के पीछे आइदर ग्रीक लैंग्वेज होगी यूनानी जुबान या लेटिन होगी दैट इज द लातीनी जुबान इसलिए इस चीज से आप नहीं होंगे कि ये हमेशा ग्रीक या लेटिन वर्ड्स ही क्यों हमारे सामने आते हैं एंड हेयर द मैक्रोज मीनिंग हेयर दैट इज द मैक्रोज मीनिंग द बिग सॉरी हेयर आई हैव रिटर्न समथिंग वन वर्ड एंटी स्मॉल इट शुड बी एंड इट यूज द मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक इंडिकेटर्स एंड वेन वी से द मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक इंडिकेटर्स so we say everything that is happening in the economy at the larger scale any indicator that will express its performance that will be the macroeconomic indicator keeping in view the various function there are the various school of thoughts of the macroeconomics that over the time has evolved that school of thoughts are basically the ideas the knowledge the pool of the ideas that have developed from one country to the other or from one century to the other there can be the classical economics there can be the keynesian economics and new classical new keynesian monterrey and austrian economists post keynesian institutional and these all thoughts when we study the macroeconomics in very very detail then we dig out all the issues that has been developed and the policies and the modules basically the theories that have been developed that are many in the line but the major four and five theories that have shaped the today's macroeconomics the one of them is the theory of income and employment because macroeconomics deal with the national income and national income is not possible until and unless we are going to decide that how the total population is going to work in the economy how many of them they are employed how many of them they are not able to get the employment and how we can improve their productivity to have more output and that more output will lead towards the more income of the economy so in the theory of income and employment we study level of aggregate demand determinants developed by john kinney's its response to the great depression that was in 1930 and the issues related to that depression that paved the way to the development of this theory and the main aspect that was developed by that time of the theory that was the multiplier effect that how one factor will multiply in many forms to give boost to the economic growth then the second theory of general price level and inflation and this theory 
encompasses many other parts that is the inflation aggregate demand side, supply side shocks expectation and the most important the phillips curve that is the relationship between the wage inflation and unemployment the actual decision and the problem that every economy faces daily in its working the third group the main group is that is the theory of growth and there is again a list of various theories that has been given in that group this theory basically that was given in the start by the solo swain then it again came in the shape of the new endogenous growth theory endogenous growth theory new classical theory and then the institutional part theory of distribution that is concerned with all the aspects of the economy either income either it is the wealth or related to these aspects how these are being distributed among all the factors of the economy so this theory again that is very important for the macroeconomics